Now I want to go back to our old discussion that we used to have about open source in general. Uh, yesterday there was a project announced here, Velkey, you know, yes. uh, which is uh, last year uh, Linux Foundation announced Open Tofu, mm -hmm. which is kind of uh, it's not Linux Foundations. I talked to Mike Dolan this morning also. It was like we are doing still doing the same thing, you know. We bring people together when there is you no. Know, we always build communities around. They solve their own problem. We just provide. But what I want to ask is that if we look at some of these cases, we had long discussion in our previous shows earlier, are these changes look distur disturbing to you? Or are you like, ah, these keep happening, we'll keep solving? Or like, no, this is something disturbing where companies are changing licenses altogether. So Swapno, we've talked about this quite a bit uh, a couple of years ago. I think this is a very natural consequence of projects that are dominated by a single company that is VC funded or just has gone public where the financial pressure suddenly uh, force, well, the management thinks they are forced into making drastic changes. And very often, I think, uh, strategically in the long run, these changes don't pan out. These changes do, do not translate into huge success. They very often translate into you're creating a competitor for yourself. And if, if you come from a, a um, permissively licensed project, a BSD3 licensed project, and for years your public statements are this is BSD3 license, it will never change. And then you say, oops, never mind, it's now licensed under two licenses that are definitely not open source, that are very much shared source, source available licenses. And if, if you don't expect the community of tens of thousands of people who use the BSD version of that project as part of their dependencies. If you don't expect that these people will turn around and say, well, okay, we'll do it ourselves. There is so much momentum around the Valky, around the key value technology that is at the core of this software stack, that it was to me totally obvious that this would get forked and we would get a new project. And I'm actually super excited that the Linux Foundation within eight days came out and said, and here is the new name and here is the new home. And we as a foundation, you know that I'm a huge Linux Foundation fan, we as a foundation will stand behind it. And that's why I'm quoted in the announcement this week, because to me, that is, that is the strength of open source. If you decide the company behind the project decides we want to change the license, uh, no, that's, that's within your rights. That's how this business works. We, we will continue to see this all the time. But it's within our rights as the community of users and, and contributors and other tech companies in this space. It's within our rights to say, well, we do our own. And I am 100% certain that Valky will be a huge success, just like Open Tofu is a huge success. And that the, the idea that the community harvested and brought together by the Linux Foundation can absolutely sustain these projects and, and be extremely successful. We will see this play out once again.